So this is going to be the real uh, first tutorial that we do on uh, Python and mathematics. And of course, this is my website address, but at this moment it takes you straight to my YouTube channel where you can find these tutorials plus um, a whole lot of uh, math tutorials and algebra, calculus, and there's going to be a lot of other courses added. Um, we're going to talk about mathematical functions, which hopefully at this point you're familiar with, and then Python functions. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to talk about, of course, is something that you should probably be familiar with. And I guess if you're not, this is going to be a crash course on that. So this reads f of x is equal to, and I'm going to uh, say x squared plus 2. Alright, so this, is, this f is the name of the function, and this is a mathematical function. So if I plug in f of 0 into our function, this is 0 squared plus 2, and it is equal to 2. So we could say then that f of 0 is equal to 2. We could also write this as an ordered pair, 0 comma 2. You could also graph this if we're on the real number line and our domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity, right? This is called a continuous function. It's continuous, there's no breaks or holes or asymptotes in the function. And of course, if you were to graph this, now in Python, we're going to hold off on the graphing for just a little bit. So we have uh, x squared plus 2. So this is a parabola, and it's been shifted up two units. All right, so what I'm going to do in Python is, is we're going to uh, have an output that looks like this and looks like this and of course we can plug any number we want uh, in for x and okay well let's just get started so when I uh, started up Python the shell comes up and then you'll probably need to come up here and click file and hit uh, and hit new window alright All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is import we have to import the math module and we're going to define a function. We're going to call it f of x. So just follow my lead. Um, we're going to say y is equal to math dot. This is for the power. The function is x, and we're going to raise it to the second power, and then plus 3. Okay, I'm going to add a comment out here, and that's with a pound sign. So writing this out mathematically would kind of would look like this: x squared plus three. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to let's see, what am I going to do? Let's just do return we're going to return y and we're going to run this and see what we get so we want to hit run module we have to so when we do that we have to save that so this little screen right here saves of course I've already got mine saved now I'm going to type in f of 0 and there we go 3 so 0 squared plus 3 is that. Or we could say f of 10 and prints out on the screen 103.0. All right. Or how about f of negative 1? And we get 4. So let's look at this negative 1 squared plus 3 is 4. Okay, that works out. All right, we're going to expand on this idea. So we're going to do composition of functions. I'm going to have a function f of x is equal to x squared plus 3. 
and then we'll have another function we'll call it g of x is equal to x plus 1 and we want to find g composed of f and sometimes our notation looks like this of x which is also can be written as g of f of x. We're going to use Python to do our work for us. We're going to set up these two functions in Python then we're going to do a composite, fu a composite function and what we're going to first do is find g of f of 2. So real f quick refresher here right f of 2 is equal to 2 squared plus 3 which is 7 and then we take that and plug it in to g of x which is going to be 7 plus 1 which is going to equal 8 so g of f of 2 is equal to 8 so let's check that out in Python so the first thing I'm going to do here, of course, is um, I think actually I used the same function in the last tutorial. Uh, this is actually what it looks like, right? x squared plus 3. So we set this up. We're go so when we plug a number in, we're going to return out y, which is when this is calculated, right? And which was going to be uh, 7. And then we are uh, constructing our g of x and which is x plus 1 and it's going to return out our y and then I'm using this capital C here as the compose operator the dot or the it's actually a little circle but uh, so this just reads g composed of f of x okay and look at here when we set this up correctly we can write it out just like a mathematical function so just like I wrote this was g composed of f of x and then out spits our y so let's go check it out and see how it works out but first remember we go up to run and then we run the module and it'll ask us to save it and of course we don't have to save it because I've already ran this earlier and now what we got to do is remember what that was it was g whoops it was a small g capital C we could have called it anything we want but I try to keep it as close to the mathematical part as possible and we're going to plug a 2 in and there it is out spits an 8 so we can sit here and whoops oh actually what I'm going to do here is you hit the upward arrow key there you go hit the upward arrow key so let's plug in a 10 and 104 alright let's plug in let's see that was a 2 let's plug in a 1 let's see what we get we get a 5 about a negative 2 we get 8 again so plug in 2 you get 8 plug in negative 2 you get 8 hmm happens when we plug in negative 1 we get 5 again so it looks like there's some symmetry in this problem um, plug in 0 and you get 4 out okay so we demonstrated mathematical functions and of course these are known as Python, calling up a Python function here uh, that we constructed. So we get a, we get a feel. And we're going to try to stay as close to the mathematical notation as we possibly can. And uh, I'll be uh, putting the script on our document page where you can copy and paste, actually copy and paste this script so you check that out just below the video it'll be just below the video on the YouTube page